Hello there, Homeschool Nolan here, here to help you navigate learning in the digital age. Today I'd like to talk about science and why you should study physics with Richard Feynman. For those of you who don't know, Richard Feynman was one of the great theoretical physicists of the 20th century. And what separated him from other great minds of his era was that he was also a great explainer and teacher. Feynman passed away in 1988, but thanks to the digital age, we can all con continue to learn from him through his books, lectures, and videos today. Richard Feynman, as a young man, graduated from MIT and then went on to Princeton where he got his PhD. It was at Princeton where I first heard of the legendary Richard Feynman as a freshman, but I didn't learn about him in physics class. I instead first heard of him in a creative writing class I took my freshman year. One day we had to read works written by our classmates. One of the other students in the class wrote about how a clever scientist named Feynman testifying in front of the United States Congress dropped a rubber o-ring into a glass of ice water to demonstrate how the space shuttle Challenger likely blew up. This simple story illustrated both the brilliance and gifts of Richard Feynman as a teacher. Now I'd like to say that I went on to study quantum electrodynamics and other fields he pioneered while I was at Princeton, but I wasn't smart enough to be a physics major. I did, however, eventually get a copy of his famous lectures on physics, which is still one of my most prized possessions on my bookshelf. Now you don't have to be a physics major to appreciate Richard Feynman or physics in general. In fact, I believe every teenager and adult who is curious about the world and our universe can and should study physics. Why do I believe that? Well, you may have heard these days that people should trust the science. But before you trust something or someone, you should at least try to understand it first. Physics, according to Richard Feynman, is, quote, the most fundamental and all-inclusive of the sciences and has had a profound effect on all scientific development. In fact, physics is the present-day equivalent of what used to be called natural philosophy from which most of our modern sciences arose. In other words, physics is related to pretty much all other sciences. So if you want to pursue a career in medicine, engineering, or other related sciences, you must first have a foundation in physics. When I was at Princeton, all engineering majors had to take physics during their freshman year. And what I discovered later was that subsequent engineering courses I took afterwards, such as fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and electrical circuits, all pretty much built upon the foundation I learned in physics my freshman year. And even if you have no plans to major in science and engineering, studying physics is definitely still worthwhile because it will help you have a better understanding of the universe we live in. The laws of physics are everywhere and always with us. Studying physics will at the very least stretch your mind and likely help you to learn other challenging topics much faster. But studying physics is of course hard. At least if you want to study it at the college level. When I was in high school, I got an A in physics, but then I quickly became a B student in physics in college. The reason some students start to struggle with physics in college is because it requires a lot more advanced math. A lot of physics is about describing motion and changes of state, and you need partial differential equations, vector fields, and advanced calculus to do that. In addition, there's an important field of physics called quantum mechanics, which attempts to explain the behavior of very small particles at the subatomic level. In quantum mechanics, the behavior of these particles sometimes seem to contradict Newton's laws and makes no sense even to the brightest of minds. And that's where the genius of Richard Feynman comes in. There were other scientists in his lifetime, men like Albert Einstein, who were just as brilliant but none of them could match Feynman's abil Feynman in his ability to explain difficult concepts and to do so with infectious enthusiasm. Bill Gates, in his intro to Feynman's book, writes, I've always been a science geek, 
but he made physics fun and accessible in a way I'd never seen before. He explained complex subjects like the law of gravitation using simple language that everyone understands, and he kept his students engaged with compelling stories. His lectures made such an impression that I eventually worked with Microsoft to get them posted online so everyone could enjoy them for free. If you want to share some of what Bill Gates has experienced, I highly recommend, again, Feynman's Lectures on Physics. But I have to admit, as great a teacher as Feynman is, some of the lectures in this book are pretty advanced and require advanced math skills. So if you're interested in learning just the basic concepts of physics without all the graduate level mathematics, another book you should take a look at is Six Easy Pieces, Essentials of Physics Explained by Its Most Brilliant Teacher. This is a collection of six of his most accessible lectures geared towards the non-scientists. In it, Feynman introduces the basics of physics using easy to, again, easy to understand language. He talks about gravity, energy, and quantum behavior in a way anyone can understand. Feynman's enthusiasm really comes through on a printed page. But if you're someone who prefers watching videos, you're also in luck. Thanks to the digital age, some of Feynman's old lectures that he gave as a professor are available on YouTube. Simply search Feynman's Lectures on Physics on YouTube. Even though these videos are grainy and black and white, I think you'll find that his charisma, wit, and passion for physics still speaks to us nearly six decades later. So if you've never heard of Feynman before, I encourage you to check out his books or videos. Studying physics with Richard Feynman will not only help you understand physics, but it will also help you become a better learner and gain a better understanding of our universe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.